Hi, it's Mrs. Fletcher, and I'd like to take a minute today to talk to you about personal versus formal essays. So first of all, an essay is a short piece of writing on a particular subject, according to Google. Now that's a very vague definition, but it does cover the major ideas. Essays are typically short and they stay focused on one particular subject. Another way to look at an essay is that it is a piece of writing that is trying to prove one particular thing, your thesis statement. There are two types of essays that we work with in high school, personal or formal. Those are big general categories. A personal essay is what it sounds like. It's written from your personal point of view. It includes your personal opinion. Therefore, you can use any point of view as you write it. You could use first person and say, I, me, my, we. You could use second person and speak directly to your reader. You could say you or your within the essay, or you could use third person. Formal, on the other hand, is the type of writing we do when we're writing about books, movies, articles, novels, poems, professional topics, etc. The ideas in a formal essay are not solely your own. They do not only come from your personal experience, and therefore everything that you state in a formal essay must be proven through evidence. It can't just be put into your essay because it's what you think. You have to back up what you think. So our first rule for formal essays is that when writing a formal essay, use third person only. Here is a reminder of first, second, and third person point of views. And so we want to use this last one, third person. And you can see you have a lot of options here. And you might even be creative and come up with another. But the things you want to avoid are using putting yourself in the essay. You should not be part of a formal essay. You're writing about a topic that is separate from yourself. And you should not be talking directly to your reader through your writing. So don't use second person, you or your. So here are some examples of third person. So this is right for a formal essay. A person should read Fahrenheit 451. One cannot deny that Daughter of Invention is a valuable short story. The reader sees that the mother and daughter are moving apart from each other emotionally. More examples. This is right. When readers realize that Mildred is depressed and disconnected, they see the impact that an addiction can have. This would be the wrong way. When you realize that Mildred is depressed and disconnected, you see the impact that an addiction can have. So same idea, but here we have second person in it. The writer is talking directly to the reader. That is not considered formal essay style. Here are some more examples. I'll put this slideshow in Google Classroom so you can go back and take a look at these if that's confusing to you. Here's the second rule. When writing about literature, use present tense. So literature, are, literature makes up the books, the poetry that we're reading, the plays that we're reading, and we don't put the whole work in past tense just because we have finished reading it. We treat it like a living thing because the next person could come along and pick up that book and read it and it could have an impact on their life. It continues to influence people even though we have finished reading it. And so we don't put everything about the book in past tense. We keep it in present tense. Here are some examples. Montag sees that he will only be happy if he changes his life. So this is present tense. Montag saw that he would only be happy if he changed his life. That's past tense. We want to stay in the present in formal essays. Here are a few more examples just about present versus past tense. All right, so you should be ready to get started on thinking about your essay topic. And your next topic you'll look for in terms of a video is thesis statements.